Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reading a story written by one of my subscribers, Wolfpack. The name of the story is called Encounter with Netter Britain. Shout out to Wolfpack. Thank you for allowing me to read your story. And if you would like to read stories written by Wolfpack, you can find them by going to my channel's Discord. Thank you, Wolfpack, for allowing me to read your story and contributing to the channel. I appreciate it greatly. According to Minecraft myth, there is a man with blank white eyes named Herobrine. Herobrine is a well-known legend in Minecraft, and looking up Minecraft in the YouTube search bar will probably show you a Herobrine sighting or a remake on the original story. I have never encountered Herobrine, instead I found something much worse. It was mid-July, it was very hot out, and I didn't feel like doing anything. So, like Minecraft players like myself often do when bored, I booted up Minecraft on my computer. I spawned it in a relatively good area to spawn in. A spruce village was a few blocks behind me and I selected the bonus chest feature to get me a head start on the game. Within 4 minutes in real time, I found enough wood and successfully made a house near the village. When it was night, instead of immediately going to bed, I decided to help the iron golem protect the innocent villagers. When I got iron tools, I began looking for diamonds, or more iron, and while I had more than enough, the village iron golem looked like it could use some iron to get repaired. It took a day or two of real time, but I found some diamonds. Most people would craft a diamond sword upon getting diamonds, but I knew a pickaxe would be a better choice. I knew I could use the pickaxe to mine obsidian and make a nether portal. The nether is my favorite part of Minecraft, or it was. What started out as a harder version of the overworld evolved into a new world with unique mobs like zombie pigmen and even better. It got completely remodeled in 1.16 update with new mobs such as piglins and striders and even forest. They even gave it its own music disc which I grew addicted to after the first time I heard it. When I finally got enough obsidian, I built the portal a good distance away from the village. I didn't want hoglins to escape the nether get turned into zonglins upon reaching the overworld and attack the village. When I ignited the portal using the flint and steel, oddly, the portal never opened. Instead of the thin purple squares that send you to the nether, there was nothing. Just the fire on the block I used the flint and steel on. I tried it on the block next to it, same result, no luck. This must have been a bug, I thought. I left the game, and if not for how late it was, I would have rejoined, but once I realized it was 10.30, I decided to go to bed. When I logged it back on in the morning, the portal was lit. I thought that what I assumed was a bug got fixed, and I entered the portal. When I spawned in the nether, I was in a soul sand valley. A nether biome added in the 1.16 update. I always felt annoyed by the biome as a whole. Souls and souls sand made you slow. And there were skeletons everywhere. Not to mention the soul fire which, upon first discovering it, I didn't know was lethal until it killed a skeleton I saw walk through it. But this time, I didn't see a single skeleton. Upon stepping out of the portal, I saw an empty soul sand valley, with a few fossils here and there. I checked my difficulty. It was uneasy, yet no mobs were spawning. I kept exploring until I left the biome and entered a crimson forest. I mined some crimson wood, hoping to use it in the overworld, but then I heard a villager noise 
coming from behind me. I turned around and I saw a nitwit villager standing on the edge of the biome. I was confused as he couldn't have spawned there especially since I didn't see him when I entered the forest. He didn't really do anything like nitwit villagers do. I decided to make a shelter for him until I found out how to get him back to the village. After making him a small bunker in the hill, I looked for any pigments to trade with. I found nothing, until I found a lone piglin brute, despite not being anywhere near a bastion. I looked at it, but I noticed something. Its eyes were white. It didn't attack. When it noticed me, it just stared. After a minute, it raised its axe, screamed and charged at me. And I'm not joking, the piglin brute actually screamed as if it were being tortured. I managed to escape and I went to check out the nitwit villager. The villager and the bunker I had made for him vanished as if they were never there. I mined into the hill where I made the bunker and I saw the villager's red dead body. When something in Minecraft is killed, it turns red and gets onto its side before disappearing and dropping stuff, mainly XP, but the villager's body didn't despawn, it just stayed there. Suddenly, I was being hit from behind, the piglin brute was back and this time it killed me. Instead of respawning back in my house, I was in the nether waste, which is the biome that resembles the old nether before the 1.16 update. This was odd, as I didn't make a respawn anchor, so I should have went straight to the overworld, but I didn't. I was just in the nether waste, Without a clue as to how I got there, I got a message without a username attached which said this. Strange, I didn't think I'd see you here. I asked, who are you? In the chat, but I didn't get a response. The stranger simply said, you know, it's rude to break stuff in another person's home. I asked again who it was, this time. I got a response. I'll show you. There, at least 10 blocks in front of me was what looked like to be half Herobrine on its left, but the right half was entirely Netherrack. It said in the chat, The Nether is my home. You are trespassing. It brought out a Netherite sword and kept talking in chat. To be honest, I wasn't a fan of the 1.16 update originally, but it grew on me. I got a new weapon, stronger than your inferior diamond. It started attacking me, and I died, which is understandable given how he was using a netherite sword and I didn't have anything. When he killed me, the death message said, hidden for personal reasons, was slain by. The death message didn't contain any actual name, I just wanted to remain anonymous in posting this. When I tried to respawn, the game immediately crashed. When I logged back on, the world was still there, but renamed into something else. The world was now named Never Come Back. I have no idea what that thing was, or why half of it looked like Herobrine. All I know is, I'm never going to the nether waste again and I will be extra cautious when in the nether.